Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Twitter Trash. It's been quite a while. January was not my favorite month. A lot of dumb stuff happened. We can start off with at the beginning of the month, I lost my main account on Twitter because, uh, you know, when Donald Trump got yeeted because of all the stuff that went down at the Capitol, I thought it was a great idea to impersonate him. And uh, I made a few jokes and I got yeeted so quick. You know, I was I was assuming that, hey, I would maybe I would get locked out of my account for a while. I once got locked out of my account for, uh, you know, just taking a cute little jab at uh, Jack. And I thought maybe something the same would happen, but I just got suspended. <laughs> I'm appealing it. We'll see what happens. It's been almost a month since I appealed. So I don't know if anything's going to go down with that or not. But for the time being, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at SBG Derek. So I'll be on there screwing around, collecting tweets, you know, because I do do this Twitter trash thing. So it's probably important that I stay on Twitter. Also, my body was just so against me. So many things was going on, just having awful digestive issues. Didn't know what the hell was going on with me. Had to get all these tests and all this stuff going on. My blood drawn like five billion times to the point where I look like I have a, I'm a junkie. And uh, I re-injured my Achilles. So that was awesome. And having some neck issues that I've been having since 2016 when I was squatting too much weight. So on and so forth. Everything hit me at once. Oh, I can't forget about the sinus infection. But I'm not here to bitch. I'm just saying January was trash. I'm feeling much better. And we have so much garbage to get to. So let's do it. It is February 2021, and we're still talking about something that happened in 2014. Gamergate. It just won't die. It's the scapegoat for everything. It's the thanks Obama. It is whatever you want. It's the blame Canada. It won't die. It's so ridiculous. So as you guys know, at the beginning of January, there was a bunch of slack-jawed yokels that stormed the Capitol in D.C. They pushed me on, faced me. And while people were well within their rights to trash the Trump supporters and whatnot that were there, this acting a fool, there was a bunch of the progressive ideologues, these progressive zealots that were there to just take the opportunity to say it was because Gamergate. From Vox.com, how a failure to learn from the lessons of Gamergate's hate campaign contributed to the out-of-control violence at the U.S. Capitol yesterday. Ooh, Gamergate. Ooh. And here's some of the tweets that they harvest in that article. Seeing people say this in private to protect themselves, so I'll say it out loud. There's a direct line from the game industry and media's failure in addressing Gamergate to the right-wing terrorism we're seeing today. Period. Shut up, bitch! Gamergate, MRAs, r slash Trump, Proud Boys, etc. We're all canaries in the coal mine, and y'all didn't pay attention or told us we were exaggerating. It's just everything. It's everything. Even the MRAs, the men's right activists, they did this. They're responsible for what happened at the Capitol. Everything that is negative to these zealots was responsible. Hey, if you want to say Gamergate led to this without acknowledging that GG was a symptom of the larger systemic bigotry that has always existed, an extension of DV and failure of online platform holders to act right, I really don't appreciate being used like that. Shut up, bitch! As you all know, she is the catalyst for all this garbage. All of this. The devs and the journalists, all they had to do was just apologize and say, we'll do better. They should have ostracized Zoe Quinn when she was exposed for trying to sleep her way to the top and gain favors. No, they took the lowest of the low road and blamed the demographic. They blamed all of us that play games and say we're all sexist and misogynistic, we're racist, we're this, we're that, everything under the sun and they're still perpetuating that same stuff right now. Hey techie smarty pants followers of mine, do you think what happened with my Trump photo scandal being such an international out overblown outrage could have been because of this Gamergate thing I'm just learning about? Shut up bitch! This is how it happens ladies and gentlemen. 
the propaganda starts to spread to the normies. Kathy Griffin is a normie. She's just learning about Gamergate. And she's learning from these fucking progressive ideologues that have painted this narrative of what it is. None of them ever thought to ask, what do the people that are pro Gamergate saying? What are they saying? What are they advocating for? They're just asking the people that are saying, you know, that are the antis, right? And saying, this is all it is. And these people aren't doing any dil due diligence to see if that's even fucking true or not. That's how these lies spread. That's how people thought the election was stolen. Tens of millions of people believe this still because they won't do any due diligence and just see anything to the contrary if it fucking lines up. Jesus Christ, I'm getting heated. I got to calm down because we're not even done yet. That, w that was just for the capital. There's more Gamergate talk and it has to do with the stock markets and everybody kind of knows what happened recently with GameStop and AMC, but specifically GameStop or GameStonk, I should really say. And if you don't, I'll give you a quick run down because goddamn you have to really not be paying attention if you don't know anything about this so our slash wall street bets decided that they wanted to push back against the suits right just all the big boys that are always manipulating the market especially when it comes to hedge funds and short stocks you know all you got to do is put a position in short stock and you can make a lot of money and it's pretty messed up when you think about the whole thing about it you can look up a ton of videos if you want to dive deep into it but i'm sure a lot of you kind of know what it is because it was so fucking popular what's been happening so, right, people are trying to collect their short stock, you know, and make a bunch of bake, but then, boom, a bunch of people started buying those stocks, and so it didn't crash the way it was supposed to, and these hedge fund people lost billions. They lost a lot of money, and they were freaking out, and it was hilarious to see because so much of us, right, we never get any type of money or any big payouts like that. The rich stay rich, the poor stay poor. It's been like that for a long time, so it was nice to see this happen, but because these people were very rich and powerful, they had the market stop. We had to stop it to a point where you couldn't buy stocks anymore from a lot of different outlets that you know do that deal with trading. Robinhood was one of the biggest ones that th their sites were set on, and they got one of the biggest bash backlashes, and rightfully so because they were supposed to be the company that represents the people. They have this tweet that says, let the people trade. They're like, hey, we, we created this for you guys. And then as soon as they started buying up all that game stonk, they're like, whoa, 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 you're making the rich people lose billions. I'm sorry, you can't do that. It's not for you, ladies and gentlemen. You can make a few thousand dollars, but you can't make millions. Fuck off. So that's the very short of it. It was very cathartic to see these grown ass billionaires and millionaires just crying, bitching and moaning. I'm curious to get your reaction to this notion of this uprising, a, a revolt, uh, if you will, against the hedge fund community. The, the activity that took place in GameStop against some of the short funds and just this general idea that we're sick and tired of, of watching hedge funds make all of this money, hedge fund managers make all of this money. Whenever they don't get money, the government bails them out. They crashed the, the banks, big banks crashed the system in 2008 and got bailed out. And the quote unquote little guy got left holding the bag. I mean, how do you react to the big that? Boy is holding the bag to, to a degree as well. Shut up, bitch. And this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together. Bitch, shut up. But then you had some people come out and say, was this Gamergate? Anyone else feel like this Robin Hood thing is the final installment of Gamergate? Well, would you look at that? The thing we all warned about happening is literally happening. How wonderful, yet again, a group gets taken over by Nazis because the space isn't explicitly anti-fascist. Welcome to Gamergate 3.0. And this one's my favorite. It doesn't talk about the capital. It doesn't talk about the game stock, even though she tweeted this around the same time. So it's very relevant. I think all the time about what might have been different if people had taken Gamergate and specifically the female targets of Gamergate more seriously. Ripples upon ripples. Bits up, bits. Oh, uh, enough about Gamergate though. Let's let's talk. Uh, let's focus on some other trash. This is bullshit. The Redditors aren't cheating. 
They're joining a party Wall Street insiders have been enjoying for years. Don't shut them down. Maybe sue them for copyright infringement instead. We've learned nothing from 2008. Love, Stu Beef. Now that's a nice tweet. The trash comes from a quote tweet by Jimmy. The Russians were to blame. It's a bunch of amateur investors, maybe even some Russian disruptors who are part of a Reddit community called Wall Street Bets. Kimmel, real Donald Trump? Is this you? <laughs> the best thing about this is that my boy Justin Wang absolutely ratioed, I mean, punished Jimmy. Jimmy Kimmel? Is this you? <laughs> he ratioed him so bad that he ended up deleting the tweet. And that is... That... That's amazing. Congratulations, Justin. So Ian Miles Chong is saying some stuff, kind of criticizing Trump, you know, despite him backing him and saying that he should run for three terms or something. Just just being totally pro-Trump until, you know, he, he, he saw that it's time to abandon ship. But that's not the important thing. It's this right here, the quote tweet by Joy Villa. All you did was post a selfie every week. Someone beat you up for exposing the truth as a reporter. And can we just deposit funds here, please? I was over your selfish, over-the-top antics months ago. Bodies birdies won't support you and no longer will Trumplicants. Boy, bye. Now that would have been a good roast. If it would happen to be Andy No that she was fucking quote tweeting. She fucking thought she was talking to Andy No and not Ian Miles Chung, which is so fantastic and just proves that all Asians look alike. <laughs>When Missy Elliott said that, put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. She was talking about switching your ticket balls around so your balls are out here. <laughs> it's still so funny.